Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly, but you guys know me as Del Fulp Da, which means I can't sleep in Korean. So today marks the first day of a new series that I'm starting on the channel, which I'm calling Flashback Friday. The purpose and point of this series is that obviously I am a big lover of K-pop. Um, I like a lot of the second generations. That's where I started my life in K-pop. I started with Super Junior. Sorry, sorry was my first introduction really to K-pop. Um, technically it was G by um, Girls Generation, <laughs> um, but I watched that and immediately popped up. Sorry, sorry, it went straight into that and from there I've never looked back. Um, so what I'm hoping to do with this series is I am wanting to go back even further and rediscover f some of the old, old stuff, the old jewels of K-pop history. Um, so I'm starting off big today. <laughs> um, so I'm starting with Sia Taji and Boy's Come Back Home music video. Um, I believe this came out in 1995. I was three years old. <laughs> I'm also going to be watching the live stage, a little live stage, obviously years and years ago. Um, I'm really excited for this series. Um, I'm hoping that it'll be a little bit interactive in the sense that um, I'd love to get some suggestions from you guys watching this, any ideas you have of some of the older stuff. I'm thinking stuff from kind of like way, way back to when the first K-pop music video came out, like the early to mid noughties maybe. Um, I came into the K-pop fandom around 2009. Um, so stuff before that kind of as well as included. Um, but I wanted to start it off big and strong. So I'm going way back to 95. Um, yeah, if you guys like this series, please give me a thumbs up to encourage me to continue to do this. I'm really excited about starting this series. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. The highest quality I can get of this music video is 480p. So <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna be an experience, and that's all I want. Oh my god. Classic. Oh my god. Oh my god, this film. The editing. Oh my god, the dancing. <laughs> oh my god, this is 90s. To a T. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is such a 90s music video. Doesn't matter what the, um, the country is, it's so 90s. I, I love the 90s. 90s is one of the best eras for me in music in general, so this is great. Now I will say I do know the song a little bit because of the BTS redone that they did. So if you hear me singing along to it, it's because I've picked it up from that. Um, and I will also mention that this is not the re that's not the reason why I picked this. I literally I can show you. I went into um, Wikipedia and tried to find out the where it kind of started. And the first thing they mention is this song. Um, so I, the first thing they mention is this group. Um, I wasn't quite sure if I could find a music video for the one that they did mention, which is Nun Ario, or I Know. Um, if I can, I will react to that as well. Oh look, it's right there. <laughs> anyway, so that was the one I was going to watch, but I couldn't find it, so I went with this instead. I'm obviously Dilbert because it's right there. Anyway, I just wanted to clear that up, that that's not the reason I chose this video. It was because I originally couldn't find I Know, and now I feel like a dumbass, because it's right there. Oh my god, and the, like, the spinning camera motion. <laughs> oh my god, what are these, the, the effects in this video are giving me like a slight headache. Been, like just... 
I really like the, the Oh my god, I'm just in shock. Like I like it. Like that's the thing is I really like 90s music. I like 90s hip hop. Oh my god, this is the dance move. Oh my god, this is nostalgia. Oh my god. His rapping tone is just like not what I expected. It's interesting even back like in K-pop, like this is obviously the hip hop form, like there's choreo to it. It's interesting to see that it's, even back then it was such a thing. Like there was dancing, rapping, singing, all in like that's the whole. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, now that if that's not a flashback and a half. That was amazing. Oh my god. Yeah, like I've never heard I've heard obviously the um the re the redo by BTS, but I've never heard the original, and I'm I'm so glad I have now listened to it. Like, my God. Okay, so I'm going to now be watching the a stage for it. It's from it looks like the 24th of November from 1995. Oh my God, <laughs> three years old I was. Alright, let's watch this. I'm curious to see what their live was like. Oh my god, look at them. They have balloons back then with light sticks. Oh my god, this makes me so happy. I don't know how to describe why this makes me so happy. Oh my god, it's so 90s. Ooh! This is brilliant, I love it. No wonder this is such like an iconic song. His voice! Can't get over his voice. Oh my god, the ski outfits that people use. Oh my god, those pants! You can just hear all the girls just screaming. Oh. You must come back home. Oh my god, the 90s dancing. Oh my god. I really need to find out who these guys actually are. Like, I don't know anything about the group. It's supposed to be a trio. Oh my god. It's so cool to see the actual, like, NBC back in the day. This is a full flashback. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, an old school version of a breakdown. Yeah. That scared the crap out of me. I thought there was an alarm going off. Is that. What was that? That scared the crap out of me. I thought something had gone off in the room. Is that the smoke alarm? Because there's so much smoke in the room? I feel angry. It was a heart attack because then I was like scared shitless.
Oh, this makes me so happy. I'm so happy. This is great. Oh my god. Ah, oh, I want to be boing. This is great. I so get why this is a whole thing. Like, this is dead iconic. Oh, I'm so happy I watched that. Like, oh, that that's so good. Okay, so that was my reaction to Seal Taji and Taiji and boys um, for Come Back Home. That made me so happy. That was amazing. Um, I really feel like as part of being a K-pop fan, I feel like it's it's a really nice thing to have a respect and understanding of where K-pop came from compared to where it is today. So that's kind of part of the reason why I wanted to do this. Um, so I wanted to check a little bit just briefly about actually the group because I don't know much about them. So it's Sia Taiji and Boys were a South Korean music group active from 92 to 96. Oh, okay. So it was a, a small, very small, it's a very small promotional period. So it had Seo Taiji, Yang Hyun Suk, and Lee Juno. They experiment with different genres of popular Western music. I can see that. Like it that's the thing. It did remind me a lot of 90s music. Um, they are highly successful and credited with changing the South Korean music industry by pioneering the use of rap in Korean K-pop music and utilizing social critique despite pressure from ethics and censorship committees. That's really interesting because I've heard that they were very iconic and it's kind of nice to know what it was for. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't realise that they were the pioneers kind of behind the whole um, rap being introduced into it. So that's really cool. I really, I like that. So there is a mention on here of kind of their legacy and their influence, I suppose. I am just using a Wikipedia page because... You know, for the video purposes, I want to put a little bit of information in, but for my own purposes, I will research further. Um, so it does say in here that the before they debuted, the Korean music industry was primarily influenced by American and Japanese folk music due to colonial roots of South Korea. So that's interesting that they helped incorporate Western elements like rap, rock, and techno. I really appreciate that because you can see how kind of if that's the case that that was not prominent in music, you can kind of see that that has really taken off and kind of almost, it's become a very big part of K-pop that it is known as today. Oh, this is interesting. So the band was voted as the most crucial Korean cultural product in a survey conducted by the Samsung in 97. That's really cool. I like that, that that's the fact that the the country, like the country themselves, like, realizes the the impact the group has had from what they've done with their social contracts like the criticism they've had and everything that's awesome oh now this this is why i wanted to read this stuff at the last of it so it says here so the band's independent success diminished the power of the television network's ability to dictate which artists appear on shows and gave rise to the influence of record labels and talent agencies such companies led to the formations of bands such as H.O.T., Hot, um, Sex Goose, Uptown, and Xinhua. So those are some of the really, really big classic groups. So that's really cool to see that they kind of started the whole thing. That's really impressive. I'm not going to go much further into this, um, just for the purpose of the fact that, like, most of this will be reaction. It's going to be very little about actually going into the details of the group. I feel like at the end of the day, um, if you guys watching this discover them and like through this video and find you like them, you're going to go off on your own anyway and research a bit more about them. I just wanted to put a little bit of information in there to show the, you know, the, the influence they have had on the K-pop industry. And I feel like I've chosen a really good group to start with. Um, I'm glad I went onto the page and kind of checked who was the starting point of K-pop really as what it is. Because um, clearly from what I'm seeing, they their influence has done wonders for the K-pop industry. 
Um, I mean, and obviously to this day, they are very <laughs> impactful. Um, so I really like that. I'm going to listen to a bit more of their stuff. Um, obviously, I already knew Come Back Home from the remix. I'm really glad I finally got to hear the original version. Um, and I'll probably listen to the I Know as well, because that was the apparently the first song. Wasn't received very well from what I heard from the Music Bank shows, but it actually grew in popularity publicly, so... I'm kind of interested to see what that one's like. If you guys have enjoyed this first installment of my series for Flashback Fridays, please give me a thumbs up and give me any comments down below on any um, groups you think I should listen to, um, any songs in particular. I'd love to get you guys involved in kind of getting this little discovery as well. I'd love for you guys to be discovering new stuff along with me. Um, if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe down below. I love you guys. I hope you're having a good day on our review are, and I will see you in the next video.